Hey guys, we're back with Ace Attorney Investigations 2, and we just finished up, I think, the final, like, um, we're going into the final part right now, I think, so we're going to go examine the well and see what's going on there. All right. Oops. Okay. Probably should have done this first, yep. Okay. <coughs> March 29th, 10 12 a.m. Prison Courtyard. <clears throat> the courtyard. Depending on what we find here, the entire incident could, be, could become clear. However, there's nothing left here. Yesterday. Isn't there one more possibility? The well in the courtyard. It's possible that the body was dropped down from there. In other words, the body being dropped from the well and then moved to the workroom <clears throat> could have only been done during the show. And the only one who could have done this is Simon Keyes. Was the body dropped down the well or not? This could be decisive, be the decisive, decisive clue that we need to reach the matter, the truth of the matter. Before I continue with the investigation, I should organize my evidence. Unnecessary evidence has been removed. Remaining evidence has been rearranged. <coughs> Let's see here. Hey, there's a grate here. The well has run dry after all. They've been putting they put a lock on it. Lock picking is one of my specialties, wanna see? There's absolutely no need for you to show off. Oh come on, don't be like that. Whoa! What happened, Kay? The lock is broken, judging from the looks of it. It feels like it was broken a, a, some time ago. So the lock was broken. This means that anyone could, could have dropped the body down the well. According to Judge Courtney's reasoning, Mr. Keyes murdered Knightley in the courtyard. And then, during the show, he disposed of the body in the, in the well. You think so? Did he really use the well to move the body? Ah, I know! Let's get Missile to help us out again! You should be able to track the scent of the body. Good idea, let me contact the Tetsu Gumshoe. Yes sir! Detective Gumshoe here. Detective, I have a favor asked of you. We would like for you to bring Missile to the prison courtyard. Sounds like you need the help of one of my seven tools again, huh sir? I thought Missile belonged to the police department. <laughs> and also, I would like for you to contact the witness. Please contact Regina Berry of the Big Berry Circus and bring her here. Roger that, sir. I'll bring them over in a flash. So, what should we do while we wait for Gummy? How about some hide and seek? What are you talking about, Kay? There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to hide in here. I don't think that's the issue. Kay, three times like this, isn't it your turn? Your turn to shine. Oh, that. You want me to recreate the crime scene? Hmm? How do you do that? You'll see for yourself, the great thief! Secret weapon, little thief! Whoa, what's that? The screen's full in midair! Just what are you doing, Kay? <laughs> I'm, in I'm entering all the information e needed for the simulation. Mr. Shields, this little thief. Is a tool that can recreate a crime scene based on information it, that it is given. Should I set it how this place was like when we came ye here yesterday? Yes. I believe that they were in the middle of taking down the set. We didn't pay enough attention to the well, so it's possible we have, may have missed a clue. Leave it to me! I took a picture of the place too! There, 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 and there! Data entry complete! Now to... Now to set the projection to maximum input. Dark skies of evening when no other bird dares to take dares to take wing. One alone remains all seeing. And witness of witness the true power of the real modern day Robin Hood. What 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 happened? <laughs> I recreated the courtyard from yesterday based on the information I entered. This is what this is a tool that the previous Yadda Grassi used. It's a device that runs simulation to practice stealing things. 
but using this banner, we can inspect the crime scene as it was in the past. Oh, but it's still only a recreation based on what information we have. I can't recreate what I don't have information for, and if my information is incorrect, the recreation could have come out strange soon. In this case, since Kay had a photo, there should be no problems. Now, let's begin the investigation. Begin investigation. Since it's a recreation, you can examine things just like you always do. You can even present evidence when you find a contradiction. Yes, I know. First, I should start with that well. Okay. So examine the well. Let's examine this area around the well. It holds the key to this case. Um, so is this a weight? This is a metal weight. It weighs... It's hard to see in the recreation. Okay, do you remember? I think it was 33 pounds. What, 15 kilos? I wonder what such a heavy thing was used for. It doesn't directly seem related to the circus. Oh, sorry. It's my phone. This rope. It's a sturdy hem rope. It looks like the, the rope they used for tug of war. I'm not going to play tug of war with you. I didn't, I didn't even say anything yet. There's a metal stick attached attached to the end of the rope. Ah, you use these things to pin the, t the tent when you go camping? It doesn't seem that they need, to, they need this for the performance. I wonder what it was used for. Hmm? There's some pulleys here. They don't appear to be appear to be the pulley that was used for the lift the bucket from the well. Okay, examine that. The well was behind the stage, that means only a few people could have access to dump the body in the well during the performance. This isn't looking good for Mr. Keys. These things around the well, what are they used for? They don't seem to be related to the animal show. I agree. We can ask Miss Barry about it later. Uh, let's examine chairs. These were used for the audience audience seating during the show. Holding up all these chairs must have been a chore. Is that so? Don't tell me you never tidied up folding chairs before. I delegated the task to others in the past. Mr. Edwards, you should try doing some manual labor once in a while. Hmm. I'll look into it. <laughs> stage. This is a stage where they put the animal show on. If I put on the great thief show, I wonder if anyone will come? I'm pretty sure the police would show up. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the same thing he said last time. Elephant? Um, what's that elephant's name again? She's a stick the Asian elephant. Ah, oh, that's right. It's an easy name to remember. Maybe they couldn't think of a good name, so they just gave her a name that's easy to remember. Mr. Edgeworth, what a terrible thing to say about Porta Steak. That's all the information we can gather for now. The, the detective should be here soon too. Okay, go ahead and shut down Little Thief. All right, return to the era to normal. No, oh, that's quicker than I thought. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Hey, speak of hey, speak of the gummy. Tip the gumshoe, that was quick. I couldn't keep you waiting for too long, sir. Thanks for coming along too, Regina. Thanks for coming along too, Regina. No problem. It sounded like fun, so I skipped practice to come here. I thank you for your cooperation. First, detect the gumshoe. Let's have Missile do some tracking. No problem, sir. Hey, Missile. Over here, pal. Hey, what's eating you, pal? I said over here. What's the matter? It looks like he's scared of something, sir. Ah! Alligator! I guess he's scared of the alligator, sir. Good grief, it looks like missile won't be much help to us. 
So what should we do, Miles? Maybe we can ask Miss Barry for help. What is it? What is it? Is there something I can do? You want me to teach Allie the trick? Actually, she probably could. No, I just need you to tell me about the condition of the courtyard during the show. Looks like it's my turn to shine again. Yes, if you please. Alright, that should do it. I'm starting up the recreation now. Recreation complete. This time we can see how the courtyard was during the animal show. This should be around the time that the body was dropped down, down the well. Wow, cool, it's just like magic. It's not magic, I just recreate the scene based on the information you gave us. See? Look over there. Hmm? The backstage area is missing. Well, Regina didn't help us with that with the preparation, so she doesn't really know how it was set up. I get it, you can't recreate what you don't already have the info for, huh? I'm sorry, it's because Simon took care of the setting everything up. Don't you worry yourself, none. Regina Pye? Miles is the one that's at fault here. <laughs> Why me? Miss Edgeworth, I recreated the, the show in progress. But I can also change it to how it was earlier when it was being taken down. I see, so we can examine the courtyard during the show and after the show. We can freely switch between the two states. Change the recreation, select the little thief on the bottom screen. Now then, let's begin the investigation. Prison courtyard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I examined that wagon earlier. I was about to do that. Where? Did, oh, there it is. Oh, this crate was empty in the recreation earlier. That's right. It was also empty in the picture I took. Ah, I'm sorry. The information is wrong. What do you mean? This crate contained Estique's food. In the morning of the day of the show, all the apples were gone. I totally forgot about that. I'm sorry. Missing apples, huh? I should make a note of it. Hmm. It's a cage that that the Asian elephant is taking. The elephant is performing on stage right now, so the cage is empty. I wonder how Steak entered the courtyard. What do you mean, how? The entrance here is human size. And the fence is electrified. I don't think an elephant would enter from there. It could have just turned off the electricity. If it did that, all the inmates would escape. Not anyone would, anyone would escape while an elephant is entering. I wonder how she came in. That requires some thought. She didn't seem to be enjoying her little brain teaser. I should just let her be. Mm, let's see. This pond was where Warden Rowling keeps her pet alligator. I guess I guess those fish bones the remains of her last meal. I don't think an alligator would leave such bones, clean bones, but she had a very refined look on her face. Refined looking face. I can't tell at all. That's because I'm a girl and who's good with faces. Why don't I get the least bit why don't I feel the least bit jealous? Examine the stage. A love story between an elephant and a love and a tiger. I really wanted to see that. I also wanted to see Simon in action. Simon is really amazing, especially the part where he gets blown away. Blown away. This is scene in question. At that point, at that point, the suspected, the suspected, the suspect, ugh, in the role of the villain is blown away by the heroine's burning love and makes his ex exit. After being blown away, the suspect disappeared from stage. the stage. Are you saying the crime was committed during that time? Do you know how long he was gone from the stage? Let me think, about 15 minutes or so? It's just as Judge Courtney said. But, isn't it dangerous to be blown away by an elephant? It's alright, a stick is very gentle. That's not who we're worried about here. Oh, excuse me, sorry. During the first few practices, he was having trouble with being blown away, getting blown away. Then all of a sudden, he was able to be sent flying beautifully. He might be using some sort of device, but it's amazing. 
The device? Do you know anything about it? Um, I have no idea. Simon handled it all by himself. Hmm. Hmm. Can you examine anything in these chairs? These chairs were lined up in an orderly fashion. I guess there were a few empty seats during the performance. This intimate atmosphere is the closest thing between the stage and the audience. It reminds me of the karaoke tournament I entered when I was a kid. Karaoke tournament? I was a, I was a runner up. Dark skies of the evening. And no other birds takes the wing. No one alone remains all seen. Now listen to the song of the real modern Robin Hood. Modern day Robin Hood. Don't tell me you actually sang that song. Of course, this song rocks. Uh, I'm surprised she actually made it to the finals. Is she still second place? No, no, she, if she didn't still first place, she must have gotten there fair and square. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, you can't exam- I don't think we can examine it, but anyways. Let's see if we can connect some no logic together. Okay, so... Hmm. I don't know, if you connect the elephant with the missing apples, doesn't that mean like he ate them all or someone got rid of them or he ate them early, right? The apples in this crate were probably eaten by a steak. But it's strange. I remember leaving the crate out of reach from a steak's nose. Are you, sm are you certain? Yes. The crate was still full of apples the night before the show. Then, the cart was moved to where her nose could reach it. With that many apples, it could not have been moved by wind. Most likely, the crate was moved by a person. Hmm. Prior to the show, the cart's position was already changed and the apples were, already, were eaten. This appears, this appears to be correct information. Please update the si simulation parameters, okay? Alright, I'll use the new info to recreate the scene. Using the info we got from Regina, I'll recreate the scene from the, with the cart in its actual place. Recreation complete. Uh, let's see. Is that the gumshoe, maybe? Mr. Edgeworth, you got that look on your face like you want to use my secret weapon, sir. Hmm. Missile isn't in the mood, but I've got my fishing pole ready to go. Or would you prefer the metal detector? I've never seen the de uh, detective's eyes sparkle like that. If I need be, I'll let you know. For now, just stand by. Let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, his stunt and part of tools. It's what they're probably used for, like the pulley thing, because it actually wasn't a pulley for the well, so maybe it was for this. Mr. Keys used a device for his stunt. Maybe the tools around the well are connected to this? Okay, I'd like you to recheck the tools lying around the well yesterday. Can you change the recreation to after the show scene? Roger! The tools, the tools are lying around the well. Could they have been part of his device? It seems very likely. I wonder if it's possible to recreate the device? If you ask Mr. Keys, he should be able to tell you how the device was put together. Alright, I'll go ask him. Mr. Edgeworth, I asked him about it. Did you find out how the device works? He used the rope. Uh, he used the rope hanging. To, wait, he used the rope to hang some weights on the uh, wo the well's pulley. The weights were suspended inside the well, and then he ran off. He ran the rope through the through two more pulleys, and he tied the end of the rope to his body. So he uses the force of the falling weights to send himself flying. But what's to stop the weights from falling onto on their own? In order to prevent that from happening, you use the stopper. 
This bear didn't know anything about the well, so that means... Mr. Keys removed the stuffer by himself? Correct! That's why there's a second rope needed. This rope was attached to the stopper, and when it was pulled from the stage, the stopper would be removed and the weight would just drop, it, drop down the well. I'm definitely gonna steal this idea. The other grass we won't lose to something like that. Don't waste your time, circus. Uh, don't waste your time. Circus acts require extensive training. You may be still the device, it won't, let, it won't do you any good. Well then, I'll train as well. Before you start training, could you first update the recreation? Oh yeah! You wanted me to recreate the device that was used in the performance. First, let me, let's return to the... during the show scene. Next, I'll input the information of the device on the wall. Now we can recreate the device that Simon made. So this device was the one that Mr. Keys used. Simon's device, uh, jotted in my organizer. Simon's sure gutsier than he looks. Using, a f using the falling weights as a force to launch himself dur during his performance? Indeed, he would have dropped enough weights to exceed his own body weight. In order to provide the strength needed to pull him so this in order to provide the strength needed to pull him off the stage. I must have practiced a lot for this. Uh, I mean, I can connect. Yeah, so the more, more logic, right? So this 13, this metal weight was the one that he needs to be pulled with. So how, where's the rest of the weights, though? I don't. It's not enough to like pull somebody. Huh? Isn't this strange? What's wrong, pal? Haven't you noticed, detective? What's strange about the weights? Uh, the weight? Maybe? Hopefully? It's not heavy enough. Oh, okay, that's what I, that's what I said. In order to pull Mr. Uh, pull up Mr. Key's body weight... You're right, sir. But where'd the rest of the weights disappear to? Looks like it's time to use the seven tools of my investigation, sir. Necessary, I'll let the detective know. Okay, um... So let's use the metal detector with the... To try to find the weights, hopefully? Detective Gumshoe, it's time for your secret weapon. Yes, sir! I was hoping for the, the metal detector. I don't get many chances to use, use this one. Before we begin the search, let me go over how to use the metal detector, sir. This metal detector uses sound. And this meter. It tells you how close you are to the metal object. When you get closer to a metal object, the metal detector will have a bigger reaction. Like this. When you get the biggest reaction, Give me the order of. Uh, give me the order to examine that spot, sir. Now let's see what we got. It's just a metal fence. <laughs> just a metal fence. That's basically how you search for metal objects. Just give me the, the instructions on where you want to search, sir. Yeah, there's a reaction here too, sir. Let's check it out. Huh? I found these in the clumps of grass here, sir. These are the weights used for the hoisting device. Was it, were these intentionally hidden? The four of them in all, sir. That many weights would be enough to lift Simon. So the other weights were used and the device were hidden. Why were they hidden over here, though? See? I'm really earning my keep today, sir. Uh, today, aren't I, sir? Eek! 
The alligator! That scared me, pal. What's the matter, detective? It looks like the, m the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. Really? Why? Are you sure is it reacting to the weights? It's a different reaction, sir. It's definitely coming from the alligator. It's gone. Looks like he's it's scared of us. Hmm. I don't think so, okay. Hmm? If anything, I think Allie looks a little under the weather. Allie? I suppose that's what the Rowan called it. She didn't eat any of the food that the warning gave her yesterday. And I think she may have eaten something bad. So I guess the metal detector could be reacting to whatever the alligator ate? Oh, maybe she ate one of the weights! I doubt it. Even an alligator can't, uh, I doubt even an alligator can adjust a 33 pound weight. But what could a metal detector be reacting to? And regardless, why were these weights hidden? Hmm. Maybe you should take another look at the device on the well. I'd like you to recreate the after show scene again. After the show scene again. Alright, leave it to me. Okay, let's examine the well again. I won't rest until I inspect every suspicious nook and cranny. So this rope is probably used for the device. So used for the weight thing. So let's let's deduce that this was a cut weight is used. Is this somehow this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Mm, yeah, it should be Simon's device, so maybe this will give us a deduce something. This recreation in the device that we saw earlier. There's a major discrepancy. One of the ropes is missing. Oh, you're right. Without it, the device won't work. I wonder what happened to it. Where did the other missing rope d disappear to? It's possible that we hold a piece of evidence that shows where the rope went. Eh? Which piece of rope... Where, where's the... Wait, what's the rope say? Oh yeah, it was with the victim, that's right. The rope we found was with the dead body. Ah, could it be? Yes. It could be the other piece of rope that was used here. And then, does that mean... This, this rope was attached to the weight. However, the weight was not one of these metal weights. These weights were hidden in the grass and were replaced by something else. They were replaced, then what was used as a weight? Oh, it's used the body was used at the oh my gosh. What was used to tie the rope? Uh, what was tied to the rope that we found in the workroom? If, if you can recall that, then the answer should be clear. The weight that was dropped in the place of the weights with Mr. Keys had prepared was Oh yeah, he did he did hit was a kind of thing. He had bruises on his head, so maybe he fell. I just know it's him though, I just don't know which evidence I put this one. What was dropped what was dropped down the well was none other than Knightley's dead body. Eh? Knightley's dead body was used as a weight? Yes, and Knightley and yes, the weights were replaced with Knightley's body. Mr. Keys used the device to launch him himself off the stage. And when the when the rope was was tied to him was undone, let go. Both the body and the rope dropped down to the well. The rope wasn't used to tie up nightly. It was used to suspend them inside the well. It explains why the other weights were hidden. So that one, that no one would find out that the weights were replaced with the body. Yes, the killer was one who hid these those weights. But Miles. Wasn't Nightly Boy stabbed in the neck with a murder weapon? If he was suspended in the well, wouldn't there be a blood at the bottom of the well? The killer was also aware of that, that's why they used this item. Which item did the killer use it to in order to leave no traces of blood? Um. Oops. Oh yeah, you remember this blood, bloody cloth? I was always wondering what was that about? That should be it, right? Yep. 
The sheet we found near this body. It was used to wrap up the body. I see. It looks like all the pieces of evidence are starting to come together, eh? But this means that the body was definitely came from the well. If that's the case, wouldn't that mean Simon is the killer? No, that's not necessarily the case. Eh? But yesterday, Judge Courtney said if Mr. Q was the killer, he wouldn't have needed to set up such an elaborate device. Would he need to have set up such an elaborate device? I guess you do have a point. Mr. Keys was only responsible for dropping the body during the show. In other words, it doesn't matter where the where uh, it doesn't matter where the real killer was or what they were doing during the show. Instead, this places doubt that on the people who did not watch the animal show. It's true. We did we suspect also suspect Mr. Dogan. Sorry, guys. Ugh. The killer's true intent was to make us think that the murder occurred during the show. In other words, that they used the device to create create a fake alibi. A fake alibi. Miss Barry, do you know when this device was set up on the well was set up? Um, let me think. The day before the, the day before the show, I think it was at night. We all started preparing at preparing at 9 a.m. We finished around midnight. The killer replaced the weights with the dead body afterwards. Simon's device updated my organizer. Did Dogen know about the device? No, if, even if he knew about the device, it wouldn't be possible for him to use it. You can't teach a dog to suspend a body in a well. Other word, in other words, the Dogen is not the killer. Um, I think the last thing we just connect these... The crate? Uh, I don't know how to... Wait, so, oh, they, they probably put the body in the crate. Oh, okay, so transfer the body. This cart was moved the night before the show. The body was also switched in the night before the show. I don't think it was just a coincidence. Keeping that in mind, the question now becomes: Why was the cart moved? The cart was used in, used to be in the used to be in front of that door. I can think of only one reason why. Somebody opened the door. All right, let's hurry up and. The door is locked. Let's ask the guard. Hey, Mr. Guard. Yes, what is it? That was fast. You there. Where is the key to this door? It's the, the warden's in charge of it. I'll get it get it from her right away. The warden is in charge of the keys here? Without the warden's permission, this door can't be opened. Thank you very much! It's a circuit breaker, uh, circuit breaker panel. This must be the breaker room. On the night before the show, someone, someone came into this room. I wonder wh why they would come here. I don't think anyone would be confused that the breaker... Anyone would confuse the breaker room with the break room. It was definitely to operate the circuit, circuit breakers. Um... Um, so someone came here to shut off the powers or something? Or is there anything that had his power shut off? The camera. Yeah, where's that camera? Take that! The security camera footage had a three hour gap. Ah, I see. The circuit breaker was... For the security camera was tripped. It's highly possible. Wasn't the killer's handiwork? Was it this the killer's handiwork? With the camera down, it had been easier to move about. The killer would have had a major advantage. I knew it. If that's the case. The killer had the person who tripped. The killer was the person who tripped the breaker. The person in charge of this key breaker. So the key to the breaker room is a kitten bee. Oh, it's the warden. What? The ending the recreation. Hmm? And the 
the first to the scene, as always. Good morning, Mr. DeBestie. What? You, how did you get here before me? Greetings, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I see you have arrived early. Or maybe it's you who are, who are late, Judge Courtney. I have many matters which require my attention. I have no time to waste. Unlike a certain prosecutor who has taken off the case. Grr. Oh, my apologies. I have forgotten that you were assisting the defense attorney. An assistant that can never be the best. You have fallen like the rest. I hate this guy. Oh my gosh. You just say whatever you like, don't you? Let's begin our examination of the courtyard, Sebastian. Alright, I'll call the men over here. That would be unnecessary. What? We already finished the investigation of the courtyard. We, you have been bested. Bested? Me? Judge Courtney. Your reasoning from yesterday. Watch me shatter it to pieces. I would advise you to choose your words more carefully. Have you forgotten the, f the fate of your badge rests in my hands? I have enough with such coercion. Can't you think of some other way to threaten me that doesn't involve my badge? Despite my repeated warnings, you show no signs of reflection. It seems I must show you once uh, remind you once more. The prosecutorial investigation cannot committee cannot leave someone such as yourself unchecked. Objection! Neither my fate of my badge nor the actions of the committee will impede my progress progress. Pre Mr. Key's innocence. That's all that concerns me. Your words are those of a defense attorney. If you're willing to go that far, then I'll show you no leniency. In the name of the goddess of law, I shall turn your words against you. At that moment, you will forfeit the title of prosecutor, and you shall regret this. Hmm. Okay, let's let's get through with this. Judge Courtney's reasoning. I shared my reasoning with you the day before. Since Mr. Albert did not see the body when he had passed through the tunnel, it can have only been dropped through the well during the show. The only one that could have performed such an act is the suspect. Naturally, you have evidence to support your reasoning? Of course she does. Who do you think she is? Earlier, I received an autopsy report, the official autopsy report. Baby sitting in that can must be difficult. The time of the death of the night was the time of death was the night before the body was discovered. In other words, the day before the show. The cause of death remains unchanged, a stab wound four inches deep. Simon Keyes was not present on the stage for a period of 15 minutes. There's sufficient time for him to drop the body down the well. She has not investigated the courtyard yet. That means... It seems that there's a hole in your argument. It seems you are quite confident. Can you present the evidence to support your claim? Of course I can, and I will. Yeah, show him, Edgeworth. Show you what's my reason the day before. So you continue to believe that Mr. Keys is the murderer. Just as you continue to speak that if if he is not. Do you have any decisive evidence? Do you know that the identity of the true criminal? You do realize that you need proper evidence too. I'm a representative of the goddess of law. My words are are her holy orders. Indeed, if I state something is black, it is black. If I state something is white, it is white. So what would you call it gray? <laughs> If you wish to disprove my words, present your evidence at once. Since Mr. Albert did not see the body when he had passed through the tunnel, it couldn't have been possible that Mr. Albert just failed to notice the body. Mr. Assistant's assistant, do you know the? Do you know? Do you also enter the hole? How did you know? I noticed that there were some mud sticking to the lovely. Hair ornament to your lovely hair ornament yesterday. That's amazing. Your powers of observation would put a great thief to shame. 
In the name of the goddess of law, answer that me truthfully. If there is any dead if there were a dead body in that tunnel, would it have would it have escaped your notice? Well, the thing is, mm, yeah, I think it would have noticed something. I would have noticed something like that. Do you understand now? Mr. Albert did not see the body. It could have only been chopped down, uh, dropped down the well during the show. The body was dropped down the well during the show. Let you to hear your reasoning for this. The day before the show, Mr. Albert lent the key to Mr. Knightley. The key to Mr. Knightley's cell, huh? Mr. Knightley escaped from his cell with the key and entered the cage that Mr. Keyes had prepared. Mr. Keyes had then moved the cage to the courtyard and then proceeded to murder Mr. Knightley. The next day, Mr. Albert passed through the tunnel and he did not come across the body. Please wait a minute, that doesn't seem right at all. Wasn't there a sweet smell in the tunnel? Mr. Knightley must have passed through it. Mr. Knightley had passed through it after Mr. Albert did. Mr. Albert passed through the tunnel at the start of the show. However, the body was not found until the end of the show. Which is why you believe the body was dropped during the show. Yes, there was only one person who cared to carry out this act. The only one that could have performed such an act is the suspect. Hold it! There's no one else that could have committed the murder? I heard that Miss Barry was present on stage at all times. A great number of prisoners were also watching the show. Even the prisoners who did not watch, did not see it, have sufficient alibis. How about the guards? Along with the warden, nearly everyone was watching the show. But there must have been a chance for even one of them to approach the well. During the show, that none of the guards left their posts. That much is certain. They all testified as such. Err. She left me no room for oversight. Do you finally admit that Simon's keys is the only one that could have been the criminal? Judge Courtney has not thoroughly examined the courtyard like we have. So there's a bit of gape in her argument, right? I should review the evidence before we obtain from the courtyard in the courtyard. Let me see. Um he didn't want to cut set it up though, but yes it did happen. Let's see. Unfortunately for you, Judge Courtney, your argument doesn't help hold up, hold any water, just like the well. A device set around the uh, a, s a device was set up around the well here. What is this device w of which you speak? Are you aware of the stunt that Mr. Keys was blown away by the elephant during the show? I have heard of it. It would it wouldn't have been right before it would have been right before that he exits the stage. He tied one of the uh, one end length of the rope to himself and the other to the end of the set of weights. He is able to perform a stunt by dropping these weights down the well. Would he have been spent the whole time suspended up in the air? Wouldn't he have spent his whole time? That's why he attached the stopper to the, the end of the weight. The stopper was removed by pulling another rope. Around the well, he, we have evidence that the weight was switched with the victim's body, which is done by the real killer to, in order to s shift suspicion away from them. Judging from the time of the death, the murder carried out in the early morning of the show. The true criminal had not until the show uh, had until the time of the show started to set up the device. But didn't Simon Keys make the thing? I think. But since he was also the one who used it, he is the best subject. Suspect. Uh, sorry. Don't you agree? Objection! If Mr. Keys were the murderer, he would not have needed to do that. Miss Barry. Yes. Was there anyone else who could have no uh, knew the device of? Uh, no. Was there anyone else who knew of the device he set up? Well, let me think. Since he had to get everything ready, uh, get everything about our show approved by the person here at the prison, I'd say there's others that who knew about it. And there you have Out it. I see. You have indeed performed a thorough investigation, which is why I'm even, f I am even further perplexed. Why you not use your efforts for justice? My actions are not just. 
Who made that decision? You cannot under cannot even understand that even now? Providing a support to a defense attorney despite being a prosecutor. It's quite unnatural it is quite unnatural. There this goes against the rules. I'm merely choosing what I do I think is right at this particular time. I travel down the road I have chosen. Your comprehension does not matter in the in this in the least. However, if anyone attempts to interfere, I will show them no mercy. Perhaps this is a calling for the goddess of law. If you intend to rebel against her divine will, I will have no choice to hand down my verdict. Pay heed to my words. I have one more reason to suspect sus Simon Keys of the, of the murder. Ah. Hmm. Let's finish this one too. Reason for suspicion. If the body came down from the courtyard, how was M Mr. Nelly brought down here from the detention center? Only Simon Keys have provided such an opportunity. Because of this fact, I find it the most difficult to suspect any other party of this crime. While Mr. While Simon Keys was moving supplies for the show, he had visited Mr. Knightley's cell. Does that not strike you as odd? Why else would he have brought a such large covered cage with him? Well, that does seem pretty suspicious. Mr. Keys was merely that kind of person. It's entirely possible that he was carelessly brought, brought that in there. If that's possible, then it's also possible that he was assisting in the escape, am I wrong? Hmm, I suppose I must refute her theory with evidence. Uh, reason for suspicion. The body came from the courtyard. He seemed to believe that Knightley was killed in the courtyard. So can you say when he was brought up here? Right here. On the day of the show, between midnight and 8 a.m., I am positive it could have only been during that time. So after the rehearsal had ended and before the show began. The most pressing issue is... <sighs> oh, Mr. Knightley was brought there, here from the detention center. Are you certain there's no other routes? The trial date had not been determined for Mr. Knightley. Since he was not a prisoner, he could not easily enter the, pri the, si the prison. He would have stood out too much. Meaning no one testified to seeing him there. Well done, and may you, may you be blessed by the goddess of law. As I've said, Mr. Knight was taken to the prison thorough through the less conspicuous matter. Only Simon Keys have could have provided such an opportunity. Are you certain that he was the only person that could have uh, had the opportunity? Have you forgotten? This is a prison. Due to the constant supervision, it would be impossible to do anything unusual. Then wouldn't it be the same for Mr. Keys? The warden has showed favor to Bootberry Circus. Simon Keys is a circus member, and Miss Berry is apprentice, no, no less. It could have only been him. He was able to move about freely within, within the facility. It seems that you forgot to mention that. The word for God does not exist in my dictionary. It would be prudent for you to add this to your argument. Mr. Keys had been the only person who could have moved freely in this prison. But on the way, on the day of the murder, there was a gap in the time missing from the surveillance camera and surveillance records. During that time, anyone could have uh, do as they pleased. Do I have proof that this gap in the surveillance records? Yes, we do. Okay, so we know, first of all, like it's three hours off. So three hours time that someone could have done something. Mr. Keys was not the only one that had the opportunity. Who else could have that opportunity? The timestamp on the security camera is three hours by off by three hours. This means that there was a three hour gap in time. During that time, anyone could have done it. If that were the case, then the murderer would have created the gap in time intentionally. It would not have been a simple camera failure. Are you saying that it's possible? It's possible if you had access to this. Uh, the breaker room. Because we think the, the warden, what she do? In this courtyard we found a circuit breaker for the security camera. 
It was possible to access the breaker room b both before and after the murder. What? Unfortunately, it appears that you have fallen short of your intentions. Mr. Edwards had the, hasn't, hasn't fallen short of anything. Hmm. So can you explain how the murderer, murderer attained the key to the breaker room? Oh yeah, that's right. It was locked, wasn't it? The warden hangs out onto the hangs onto the key, right? The breaker room has great importance even in the prison. If anyone were able to attain the key so easily. I, I can't think of someone. What did you say? This person, the murderer, was able to get the key. They didn't even need to steal it. It can't be anyone like that. Besides, the breaker... The breaker... The breaker to the electrified fence in, is in that room too. No one could have done this. I didn't want to believe it myself, but I trust that my logic is sound. The person who uses key in the breaker room is... It's how I said earlier, so... We're scared. Ugh. The murderer is... Warden Roland. Oh my, what an energetic, energetic little puppy. That's because this dog is extremely fond of sw sweets. He seems to have detected a sweet scent on you. Oh heavens no, I'm not even wearing perfume of any sort. What the dog detects is the scent of death. How poetic. However, this does not imply that I committed a murder? That's what I think. Yeah, keep slapping yourself with them. What? The warden is the murderer? Mr. Edward, are you serious about your statement? Oh ho ho, how amusing! The very thought of a warden committing a murder! Sounds like s something is out of some it sounds like something out of a mystery novel. Precisely. Your reasoning is in contempt. Hold it. Nothing of the sort. I did not want to believe it myself, but based on the evidence, I have no choice to believe it. This evidence proves that the Warren Roland is a murderer. Um First she has a sweet scent. And she was here in the courtyard. And she had access to everywhere, so I wonder why she had to kill him though. Take that! The smell gave you away. As you can plainly see, someone has taken notice. This police dog. He had a a sweet smell that came from the body. And right now, he is telling us that it's the same scent that is also on Warden Roland. <laughs> You're cruel to accuse me of murder based on something like that. Right, Justine Darling. It appears that Judge Courtney had reached the same conclusion as I have. Mr. Edward, this couldn't have been just a coincidence, could it? The key to the breaker room in this the same scent on the body. Is if it were only one if it could have been as seen as such. It appears we have reached a conclusion. We should now listen to what the warden has to say. The warden has to say. Indeed, until we do, we cannot close this case. Oh my goodness, everyone with such scary faces. I'm the only one that could have been the murderer? That can, can, not, can, that can cannot just be. Okay, so let's hear a testimony, and the next time we'll, what's it called, we'll finish up the last part of the case. Why well, can't be the killer? I heard about the cases from Jessalyn Darling here. Had I, had I committed the murder, it would have taken place inside the holding cell. But I couldn't have moved the body, I never went to the prison. Into the prison. I was caught up in my work into the show, and I was stuck in my office. Check it up if you like, you'll find no record of me entering the prison. I don't know what reason you had, but I can say for sure, I cannot be the killer. Miss so that you pal, you gotta be the culprit. Oh heavens, it's not possible. I've already told you, I never went into the prison. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check the records? She wants us to check the records? She does seem confident. For now, all we can do is listen to her and try to draw out more information. I hope you do understand, Mr. Edgeworth. Why well, can't be the killer? Okay, guys, so 
Next time we're gonna leave off right here and we're gonna finish up the rest of the case. Okay, see you guys.